Welcome back to our channel. We're Eric and Sarah and we've been traveling through Ecuador for the last three months. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of Ecuador and more of our faces. We're currently in Cuenca, Ecuador. Before we even came to Ecuador, we've been on some expat pages and seriously, all they ever talk about is Cuenca, 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 Cuenca. <laughs> Everyone is obsessed. Even Ecuadorians say it's their favorite city in Ecuador. And to be completely honest, we were kind of hoping it'd be overrated, but now we've been here for two weeks and we understand the obsession because this place is amazing. So we're gonna be showing you around and why everyone loves Cuenca, Ecuador so much. Cuenca is located in the heart of the Andean Mountains at over 2,500 meters above sea level. To get here from Guayaquil, we had to take a four and a half hour bus ride up through the mountains. It was absolutely gorgeous. We went above the clouds, through the Cajas National Park, and it was just absolutely stunning coming up into the mountains to get to Cuenca. Before colonization, Cuenca was the second most important city in the Incan Empire next to Cusco, Peru. It was founded in 1577 by the Spanish and named Santa Ana de los Rios de Cuenca because it was built around four different rivers. Nowadays, with a population of over 580,000 people, Cuenca is best known for its cobblestone streets, historical architecture, and beautiful cathedral with three distinct cupolas. So Cuenca was actually named a World Historical Site in 1999 and it has this beautiful historical downtown center with cobblestone streets and old churches and all these kind of beautiful things. That's where we're going to be spending the majority of our video today to show you what that part is like because that's where most people come to visit when they come to Cuenca. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go climb the giant cathedral that's right behind us. We've been in Cuenca for over two weeks and we haven't gone to this cathedral yet. We were saving it just to show you guys, so we are so excited. All right, $2 each to climb up all the stairs and we're on our way. <laughs> nice. This is so creepy. Nice spiral staircase. Woo it's really deceiving because you can't really see how high you are when you're climbing up. So it feels like we've been climbing for a while. <laughs> and you just keep going around. It's very twirly. And around. Making me dizzy. Oh, stairs. Wow, it's so beautiful. Watch out. <laughs> so gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Sensors. If you come, don't stand with your arms over this thing because there an alarm goes off. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> so this cathedral is so beautiful. It's definitely worth coming here. We were kind of hoping we'd be able to walk around more at the top. There's right. only a little bit of a small area, but the views are really beautiful. And you can overlook the beautiful park that's right down below here. <laughs> yeah. One of my personal favorite things about Cuenca is just all the beautiful flowers and plants everywhere. There's always like hanging baskets everywhere, lots of gardens, and there's even a huge flower and plant market with really cheap cut flowers. I love it. It's awesome. Now that 
we've done, the more touristy things that everybody does, we wanted to show you something that not everybody would do, but definitely should do when they come to Cuenca. So this is the market Diaz de Agosto. It has so much stuff. There's a whole grain section over here. There's a whole area of produce. There's a meat section. Upstairs, there's a ton of restaurants and other vegetables and things. This place literally has everything you can need. It's really awesome. But now for the real reason we came to the market today, Eric's gonna get Olympia. Do you wanna tell us what that is, Eric? So Olympia is basically uh, an ancient Andean tradition and ceremony for cleansing uh, the physical and spiritual energy. So today we're gonna check it out. We've seen this already like a couple times like just uh, when we came to this market throughout the week but we've been very interested and I'm gonna get one. <laughs> She was just like smacking me around with these herbs at first and kind of like settled me down I guess and then she cracked an egg into some water and did like a reading for me and she told me that I was like kind of like nervous and cold actually she said which is funny because that's kind of exactly what I was thinking about when I when we first like came here this morning but how it just like I felt a little bit jittery and almost like nervous and she's just like she could kind of tell from the egg I guess which is just crazy I've never really like had a reading like that before um, and yeah and then she started like spraying me with all this stuff and it was really nice actually like all the nice smells and uh, some of them were quite strong and pungent uh, what do you think they all were? I, I think it was like some like tobacco water of sorts yeah that's right there was a lot of different smells going around and I think I'm just gonna be smelling that for the rest of the day to be honest <laughs> awesome. what about the massage part? the massage part it, the massage part felt really good as well but it was um, a little intense like I would say if you have any sort of like head problems I don't know how great it would be she just really like cranked my neck I thought she was gonna kill me at one <laughs> <laughs> Your face is so funny for you Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Wow, well, well, that's an authentic Andean. Andean Olympia. I got my, my spiritual and physical energy cleansed. <laughs> it's finally sunny here. It's been raining so much when we're in Cuenca. We've had bad luck with weather in general, I feel like, but man, the sun is so nice. What's awesome about Cuenca is that even though it's situated in the mountains, the historical center is all flat, which makes it very walkable. Exactly. But if you don't feel like walking or you need to get somewhere fast, there is an awesome train. It's coming. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Big close up. I don't think that, oh, that does open. Let's go. You can look out this way. What's awesome is that for 
us, it only costs $1 per person to get on this train and we can ride it for 40 minutes. So we'll probably just hop back on afterwards and just take it all the way up. But if you live here, you can actually buy a card and it's only like 30 cents per ride. So yeah. it's pretty cool. Pretty cool form of transportation. That was quick. Very quick. There we go. Good to go. Man, I just love how sunny it is. Oh, it's so nice. It's been way too long. Okay, so this area of town is very interesting because there's just so many shops and it feels like every street is dedicated <laughs> to one type of shop. Literally, there's a whole street with electronic stores and then a whole other street with construction equipment and then an entire other street with, I don't know. Furniture? Furniture, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't think about anything right now. But it's so funny because it, it seems like competitively it wouldn't do well but it's probably so nice for people that live here because you just go to your one street and that's where all the stuff you need is it's awesome so this is a prime example of what Sarah was just talking about literally all of these stores that we're walking across right now are all hairdressers <laughs> yeah there's one they're all barber shops there's two a second barber shop a tattoo shop in the middle that's cool here's another one and then here's yeah, here's a third, here's a third barbershop. And we probably already passed like three or four back there too. <laughs> this is so funny. Car parts, car parts, car parts, and hats. More car parts. Other car parts down there. Other car parts down there. <laughs> Other cars. It's awesome, I love it. Oh, what, car parts? <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? That was another car parts. Oh, what is this gonna be? Car parts? <laughs> what I find really awesome about Cuenca is that it's always bustling. There's always people on the street kind of going out to different markets, going to the stores. And it's actually pretty nice to be in a city for once. We've been basically on the coast our whole time in Ecuador. So all these small towns. We're kind of starting to get old, so it's been nice to be in a couple of cities for the past couple of times. Um, but yeah, anyways, Cuenca is just amazing. So refreshing. So we're now at the kind of artisanal market. This one has all kind of handcrafted goods. There's different kind of fabric bags, some maybe a little bit of clothing, but mostly wooden things or all these handmade things. So we're gonna go explore around here today. We only travel with a carry-on, so we can't really buy anything, but we still like looking around because it's all really cool. crazy to me that everything's just stacked on stacked on stacked like there's so much of everything at every shop it's not really like the North American like supply and demand like you only restock when things are selling it's just like we're gonna have as much as possible hope that it sells just crazy I don't know how they pack it all up every night it's wild Feeding pigeons here is such a big deal, but it's they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, scared this Sarah's... morning a pigeon hit me in the head, literally <laughs> flapped its wing on my head. So now I always thought that it would never hit me, but they did, and now I'm even more scared. I'm mostly scared they're gonna poop on me though. Don't land on my arm. What do you want to land on my arm? Thanks guys. We came to this 
Plaza earlier hoping to get a glass of wine after a full day of filming, but apparently we're a little too early. So we went and got our favorite ice cream instead and we're just gonna enjoy it in the nice sun in this gorgeous plaza. Well, we hope you enjoyed this brief tour of Cuenca. Obviously it has a lot more to offer than just what we've shown you today, but these are kind of some of the highlights for us. It is a very beautiful city and probably from what we've shown you, you can understand why everyone is obsessed with Cuenca. <laughs> <laughs> it's really true, like everyone loves Cuenca. We, we've been hearing about Cuenca all over Ecuador, uh, from e Ecuadorians and from expats alike. Uh, but we wanted to talk about expats as well. And, and the reason why expats really love Cuenca is because it really has everything that you would want or things that you would at least be used to back home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm eating my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it has every store. We've seen a lot of like even brands that we've seen at home as far as clothing, even like vitamins and like medical services, all that stuff is here. And just kind of, yeah, anything that an expat might be used to in North America, it kind of seems to have it here in Cuenca. So we understand why people like that so much. And another thing is that there are lots of different restaurants here as well. Uh, just kind of diverse. We've been Chinese food here. We've seen Indian food here. Uh, it's really nice because even though when you're in Ecuador, you should be eating Ecuadorian food as much as you can, it's really nice to have something kind of comforts of home uh, just eat while you're away. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And there's just so many range in in types of restaurant too. That's right. You can get street food, you can get kind of um, a right. so like we had today, more traditional food, or you can go for super fancy expensive dinners if that's what you want for <laughs> special occasions. That's right. So uh, we're curious actually, if there's any expats that are watching, if you could just comment below and just let us know what is kind of your favorite thing about Cuenca and maybe even why you moved to Cuenca. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing we realized in Cuenca that we've never seen elsewhere in Ecuador so far is you can actually drink the tap water here. Yeah, it's pre-filtered right. and it's supposed to be some of the best water in all of South America. So that's pretty awesome too. Definitely. Yeah. So with that, I think we're just going to conclude this video and if you uh, want to see more videos of Ecuador and more of our faces, like we said, please subscribe. Uh, and if you like this video, please like it. It really helps us uh, just kind of boost it and get shown to more people. Yeah, absolutely. And if you live in Cuenca and you feel like this is a good representation, send it to all your friends back home so they can see what Cuenca is like. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one.